Design Fam. So today we are going to be starting a new series here on my channel. It is going to be a basics makeup series. So all of the basics to do your makeup, I'm going to try and do a video on them all. I have ideas for six so far and I hope you guys enjoy this series. If you do, please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below what basics videos you would like to see next. And if I have the videos up, I will link them here so that you can see the other basic videos. If you are new here, hello, I am Josie. Welcome to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I also have a Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I talk to you mostly on those platforms. It is also at Beauty by Josie K. And let's get into this tutorial. All right, so the things that you're gonna need for the basics foundation routine is some kind of moisturizer. This is the Tatcha water cream. And then some kind of primer, um, unless you are someone that really just doesn't like primer. And then a foundation. This is Born This Way by Too Faced. A concealer, and this is Superstay Better Skin by Maybelline. And a translucent powder. This is Laura Mercier's um, translucent powder. And then I have a beauty blender. Um, a lot of people claim that you can use just a regular sponge um, beauty blender, not really, you know what I mean, like the beauty blenders that you can get at like the dollar store or sometimes you can get them at Walmart or Myers or any store, etc, etc. Never found one that I like as much as the beauty blender. It does an amazing job at blending out everything that you need because it's super soft and not stiff at all. So, moving on. The first step that you always want to do when you are applying foundation is moisturize your face. Now, this is Tatcha's water cream. This is one of my favorite moisturizers, and I love it. Moisturizing your face is just going to give your primer a really nice, smooth base to apply on. And no one wants dry skin underneath their foundation. That's never, that's not cute. That's never cute. I love this water cream because it's not too heavy, but and yet it still really moisturizes my face. I use this even when I'm not doing makeup. And then the next step is to go in with a primer. I love green based primers because my face is super red. Um, right now it's not so bad, but sometimes this area and then this area and sometimes my forehead get super, 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 super red. So a green primer kind of helps make that red spot not so red. This is the Fundamental Color Correcting Primer by Collab. Then the next step is to go in to your foundation, whatever your preferred foundation is. But if you are a beginner, I would go with something that is a medium coverage. Um, just because it's super easy to blend out and um, it's not so full coverage where it can be a little intimidating when you see that your face has no dimension left after you put your foundation on especially if you're a beginner. So start off with light to medium foundations. I'm gonna be using the Born This Way by Too Faced and we are just going to dot this all over the face. The trick to using a blue beauty blender is to not swipe down, rub up, rub around in a circle, it's to pat. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in and pat and diffuse all of the product over an area of your face. So this side of my face is already done. Look, that's what the magic of the Beauty Blender does. You're just going to pat it around your face until you diffuse all of the product in the area that you're working in on that area. <clears throat> and it blends out super easy because the Beauty Blender is very, very soft. Don't forget to Bring it down on your neck just a little bit, especially if the product doesn't match your skin tone completely. So we're just gonna keep patting this. And then that is it. Literally, I am done. That didn't even take two minutes. 
you can go in with a second coat of foundation or you can move on to your concealer. We are gonna move on to my concealer and a really nice concealer that is super easy to blend is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. Um, I really, really like this concealer even though they don't have many shades in it, which, come on Maybelline, you're better than this. Um, it is a really nice, easy concealer to blend. Now what I'm doing is I am just taking the product and putting it underneath my eye and dragging down, and this is where I want most of my coverage to be, is this part of my eye. So I concentrate most of the product right next to my nose, underneath half of my eye on this side and here, and then I just take the leftover product and start to push it out to the edge of my face. I'm gonna also run some concealer here and around my mouth because that is where my redness starts to show fastest underneath the foundation. Again, I am just going to bounce this underneath to diffuse that concealer. It's super easy guys, I promise you. It's so much easier than using a brush in my opinion. And look at that, it's done, completely done. Moving on to the next one, just bounce this in the area that you want to diffuse the product. If you want the product to stay in one more area more than the others, just bounce it in the same area until you are ready to move on. I'm gonna do the nose now, and then the, around the lips. And that is it. After this, you can go in and spot conceal if you would like to. Um, I'm not going to go in and spot conceal. All that means is just you go into places that on your skin aren't covered as much as you would like them to be covered. For me, the next step is crucial and that is because it sets your makeup. It doesn't let it move around on your face. That is setting it with a translucent powder. Now this is Laura Mercier's powder. This is like one of my favorite powders to set my foundation with. I am actually almost out, which is very sad <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna put some in the lid dab the beauty blender into it and just place this where I want to set my foundation usually the top places to set if you don't want to do your full face is underneath your eyes your forehead your nose and underneath your lips and that is called the t-zone and that is where most people get oily the fastest sometimes I will set my whole face and sometimes I won't. It's just a personal preference, guys. I know my best friend doesn't need to set her whole face. My best friend doesn't really even wear foundation all that much, so she's super lucky. Um, but you do not have to set your whole face, as some people say. Maybe if you are super oily and you do want to set your whole face, that could be a good thing for you. And that is it for the foundation part of this beginner basics makeup tutorial. I will go finish my makeup and I will be right back. All right guys, so this is my makeup look complete. If you would like to see how I got the rest of these steps on my face, they will be up in the series of basics video that I'm gonna be putting up on my channel. And I hope you guys will stay and subscribe. I also have a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. They are also at Beauty by Josie K. And I talk to you mostly over on those platforms, so I hope you go follow me over there as well. And that is it. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. I love you. Bye!